Welcome to Sprutcam tutorial. This video will show you how to make the threads using the using the special thread mill tools uh, in Sprutcam. First of all, we create the new Sprutcam project using simple free access milling machine and uh, define the and define the workpiece. Uh, to define it, we will create the we will create two circles. For example, uh, first circle uh, radius maybe 19, and the next circle, for example, this radius. Nice. After that, uh, define the workpiece. Use extrude. Uh, select both circles and define the top level as 0 and the bottom level minus 40 for example edit nice and the next uh, creating a new whole machining 5d operation uh, add add in this operation a uh, new hole. Diameter of my hole will be uh, 40 and uh, top level 0 and the bottom level is minus 40. Add. Mm, sorry. I need to create it. Yes. Diameter 40 0 it's 40. Uh, okay. Well, well. Next, go to parameters. And first of all, define the tool. Uh, in the in the last re uh, release, uh, 7.0.8, uh, we can select the metric thread mill. It was it was added as uh, free uh, free form parameterized shaped tool. Uh, well, uh, this tool uh, has some parameters. Uh, pitch of the thread, length and diameter. Uh, well, define the, for example, uh, 10 threads. Ten It will be length. Double click and after that uh, define the hole. Well, it will be our tool. The next uh, three scene speeds. It is not important for the demo. Uh, go to the strategy. Uh, select uh, machining by spiral, spiral or thread milling. Uh, in C code format uh, use long hang. Uh, it depends if your CNC control uh, support or doesn't support the uh, special cycles uh, for the thread milling. Well, first of all we will, we will machine inner uh, thread. So the thread type ID, machining from top to down, spiral direction right, uh, thread depth, distance uh, it's the depth of the thread, uh, one millimeters, and the spiral step uh, must be equal to the pitch of the tool, it will be also one millimeter. Uh, after that, after that uh, start count, uh, we can define taper taper angle also and create the conical uh, conical threads also uh, well we will use a special tool with uh, special insert and uh, we can divide our tool pass in axial direction direction uh, so we will create one turn for the count and the distance is the 10 uh, millimeters. That's all. Uh, calculating the tool pass, 
uh, and go to the simulation. Uh, try to look at the result. Yes. So, as you can see, we can uh, we received the good good result. Uh, there is also some uh, another features in this case. Uh, for example, we will use a special insert that has that have um, big pitch size. Uh, for example, two millimeters, and the pitch count is five. Uh, well, in this case, we can we can generate the same the same thread uh, using this parameter for example uh, make turn to turn count click run recalculate it and after that reset the previous result and go try to simulate that's all and the next that's all and the next so the top level must be changed but it is not important for our case uh, thank you for your attention and bye